Dear Prime Minister, I am writing this letter a result of recent speculation reports in all branches of the media in relation to the Act of Settlement. It has been widely reported that should the Labour Party win another term of office in the forthcoming general election, they would make amendments to the Act of Settlement, which would enable once again Roman Catholics to sit on the throne of the United Kingdom. I am firmly of the opinion that any such moves would have a retrograde reaction, would not be in the best interest of the vast majority of the country's population, and that by making these proposed changes to the Act of Settlement, would once again enslave our country to the Vatican and in de facto the Church of Rome, as any monarch who followed the Romanish faith would owe their allegiance to the Pope and not to the people of this country. The Act of Settlement was enacted over 300 years ago and was done so as a result of the desire of the British people to be governed and ruled by a government and monarch who were, un who were answerable only to the peoples of this United Kingdom, thereby never again putting the peoples of this country in a position of subservience to a foreign power or acquiescing to civil or religious laws that were detrimental to the good and welfare of this country as a whole. It has been known that when a government of this country has proposed new legislation, that members of all parties in the House of Commons have been put under pressure from the leaders of their respective religions to vote in accordance with their beliefs of their particular faith, and not in accordance with what their conscience tells them. This is truly in the best interests of the country as a whole. When I vote in an election, I do not ask the religion of the various candidates, nor do I expect them to vote in a manner that will benefit my religion over all others. Though perhaps it is about time that I and the rest of the silent majority did start voting along religious lines. This would certainly reduce the number of Labour MPs in Scotland. This I know to be the case in both Muslim and Roman Catholic communities. People elected as a result of these prejudices are not truly representing the views of the wider constituency, but only on a religiously motivated section. If a Roman Catholic monarch were ever again to sit on the throne of the United Kingdom, there could arise a conflict of allegiance, particularly if Parliament were to enact a piece of legislation that did not have the approval of the Roman Catholic Church on issues such as stem cell research, abortion or birth control. The monarch may then refuse to give the royal assent to such legislation, and this, I believe, would undermine the whole institution of the monarchy. The civil and religious liberties that have been handed down to us by our forefathers and the establishment of the Reformed faith, for which hundreds perished at the stake, burnt as heretics, has been the cornerstone of our nation since the time of Henry VIII. Any such moves to disestablish both church and state could, I feel, lead to the ultimate breakup of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I would be obliged if you, as leader of the Labour Party and Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, would advise me, if it is the intention of the Labour Party to make the Act of Settlement an election issue and include it in their manif manifesto as an issue that they will be campaigning to amend. Before you reply that you are merely seeking to redress a wrong that has been perpetrated for many years, take a look at those countries which the Roman Catholic Church holds sway, at the poverty and the misery in which these poor wretches live, operating as nothing more than breeding machines because a Pope tells them that they cannot use contraception. I also detect a distinct lack of any form of criticism of the Vatican or the Pope in any branch of the British media, though it would appear that our own royal family are fair game. You may accuse me of paranoia, but could this have anything to do with the Catholic Guild of Journalists? I am a loyal subject of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and her rightful heirs to the throne being Protestant and will lawfully oppose any attempt to amend the Act of Settlement. I will refrain from voting for any political party that intends to change the aforementioned Act of Settlement. What we have in place has been tried and tested over hundreds of years and has stood us in good stead thus far. I look forward to your reply and remain yours faithfully.